Hey, hello wealthy family take three listen one of the reasons why I moved from Miami up here to this small town in Central Florida is because people used to always pop up at my house and I hate that right hate when people pop up at my shit and guess what's happening people still popping up it may be the red door because red doors are so welcoming and you know we here, like if you if you know me, you know you can just come on, right? You're always welcome at my house. But God dog, okay, sister girl's trying to get some stuff done before her next reading. Gracious. <laughs> but anyway, I'm grateful for the pop-ups. I'm grateful for the people. I'm grateful for the support and for the love. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about gratitude, okay? Because you know, twenty twenty one was not um Full of loss not like a not as much as I had in 2020 I had some death I had some loss in my in my family in my life um, but in 2021 although I did have balance in other area right I had some emotional turmoils I had some hiccups and some speed bumps but I'm watching this squirrel that's why I'm looking there I'm watching the squirrel like jump from everything in my yard and then it just jumped into thorns we have bovavalias that grow on my pergola you know the plant with all the purple flowers y'all seen it before it just jumped into this bed of thorns like there was no thorns okay so just like that squirrel i was jumping through them thorns like a boss like i didn't even see them thorns like what thorns okay what hiccups what screw-ups what emotional turmoils i'm not gonna let that stop you girl it's not gonna stop this show okay so that's how we move it right and now it's going and eating all the bird food that we have on the birdhouse chilling like it's a square house and it's not it's a birdhouse but you know what he's owning that birdhouse right now and that's exactly how you should be okay be like the squirrel fuck them thorns and if you see something that you want some food or some shelter or some house go after it with no qualms okay not if it belongs to someone else because i'm pretty sure if there was a bird in there it would probably peck the life out the squirrel okay so don't put yourself in harm's way but y'all know what i'm trying to say anyway at this point i'm just rambling but i felt it was very significant because that squirrel is moving you hear me so 2021 gratitude i don't care what the hell happened to you this year i care but i don't care what happened to you this year I don't care what you experienced. I don't care what people told you. I don't care how your feelings felt. It doesn't matter. It's in the past. Do not carry that weight on your shoulders into 2022, okay? Yes, of course, things have to keep reverberating in a certain energy. And yes, you have to keep dealing with certain things, right? As you do things, they continue to echo on in through the future. However, if it's something minute, put it down choose not to wake up in the same energy of yesterday today okay do not wake up tomorrow morning feeling what it is that you felt today do not allow your power to continuously be zapped by certain situations don't do that to yourself because you don't deserve it one way on how i found i was able to really redirect that energy for myself not just in 2021 but for the past few years that i've been doing this is starting my day off with a gratitude journal I could have bawled my eyes out the day before. I could have lost five friends. I could have, you know, lost money. I don't know. I, certain things could have happened to me the day before. And when I wake up and I write in my gratitude journal, my 10 thing, minimum 10 things, I find my energy shifting. So if you do not already, I suggest that you start a gratitude journal. Get a journal with at least 150 pages in it or a little more than that, 175 pages in it so you can write front and back if you're a front and back person. If not, get a journal with 365 pages, okay? And make it a goal to write gratitude every single day. I was doing a reading with someone and I was just naming off things to be grateful for. And sometimes people make it so big. Sometimes I'll ask my family, what are you grateful for? And they're like, my family and the food and apples well apples falls under food no listen if you're grateful grateful for apples for oranges 
for grapes with seeds in it, for burl bananas, for kale, for alkaline water, for sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, um, what else? What else do we eat? Chia seeds, flax seeds. Those can be your 10 things. Well, I just named 12. Those can be the 12 things you're grateful for. If you're grateful for your mother, if you're grateful for your father, if you're grateful for your grandparents, if you're grateful for your ancestors, if you're grateful for your children, if you're grateful for your neighbors, if you're grateful for your friends, you're grateful for your co-workers, you're grateful for your supervisor, you're grateful for the person that you saw that walks across your house every day because they walk across your house every day at a certain time and they keep you on schedule, that is okay. You don't have to be exuberant. You don't have to be grateful for the sun, the moon, and the stars. Although, that's fine, right? you can be grateful for those things too but sometimes we put too much stock into certain things and you're like what do I have to be grateful for you've got a lot of things to be grateful for okay if you can watch my video if you can see my video if you have internet access for my video if you can like see my facial expressions and feel my energy coming off of here and have the ability to like and the ability to subscribe and the ability to share this information then there are three things you have to be grateful for right there okay if you can see my beautiful smile you can be grateful for that okay you can be grateful for the ascendant infinite goddess it's okay right i'm grateful for ascendant infinite goddess every single day <laughs> i'm grateful for my almost 600 subscribers i'm grateful for y'all i'm grateful for the growth I'm grateful for the things that I've been through. I'm grateful for the turmoils. I'm so grateful for my travels. And not just my travels, but my safe travels. Okay? No hiccups with that at all. Right? Not having any stagnant it, uh, stagnant energy around me. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that I'm surrounded by people that I can trust. I'm grateful I'm surrounded by people that I love and who love me in return. I am grateful for that. And that's all good. Those are very simple things that we all can be grateful for. And sometimes you overlook that. Be grateful for your lungs functioning. Be grateful for your heart not attacking you. Be grateful for your functioning limbs. Be grateful for your fingers. Be grateful that you can read and write. Because there's many people around here that cannot read and write. Be grateful for your literacy. Be grateful for your freedom. Because there's many people that don't have that either. There's little things that you can be grateful for. And the more that you show that attitude of gratitude, you will have more coming into you. The, en the energy that you exude, that you put off from your body when you show gratitude, the universe will be like, holy smokes, that is such a high energy level. So-and-so must love this gratitude. Let's give them more things to be grateful for. I'm grateful for my financial abundance. I don't care if it just means that I have $2 left over after I pay all my obligations. After I take care of all my obligations, I'm grateful that I have money left over in my bank. It doesn't matter how much it is. You are still financially abundant because there's so many people out here that are in the negative. Be grateful for your knowledge. Be grateful for the ability to still be able to speak your mind. Be grateful for that. There's so many things that we overlook. And 2021 taught me that only those who are real with themselves and who allow themselves to move in the energy of gratitude are the ones who will survive. Because there's a lot of people that was like, yeah, I'm 10 toes down. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, I'm with you. And when the fire was put to the flame, they couldn't handle it. It got too hot. It got too hot for them. I'm grateful for them too. Because now I know. Now I know who to turn to and who not to turn to. I'm grateful for that. And I cannot wait to see what 2022 unfolds. I'm grateful that I realize that everything that I have in my life is of my own doing, my own fruition. Everything that I perceive as ne positive and everything that I perceive as negative is all because of me. I'm grateful that I know that because I now know my power. I'm grateful that I no longer allow myself to externalize power. I'm grateful that I no longer give people the ability to get on my last fucking nerve. You know how many people try to get on my last nerve this year? But I'm holding on to that last nerve. It's mine. Y'all can't have it. Not today. Okay? I'm grateful for the dreams that I've had that keep coming back and showing me that there's certain things that I feel that I've moved past but still kind of lingers. I'm grateful for that. 
I'm grateful for the feeling that sometimes tries to pull me back in 1999. And sometimes I got to rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I'm playing. I'm playing with y'all. <laughs> I don't rebuke it in Jesus' name. Jesus don't like that. FYI. But <laughs> I'm just saying. Those things that try to pull me back into the old me. I say, no, not today. Not today. It's not happening. Okay? Just know that you always have that ability to be grateful and to control those things around you. All right? So, that is all that I have for you today. Continue to be safe. All right? Live your life. Practice safety. Don't allow certain things to get on your nerves. Don't allow yourself to get distracted. Look at Saturday, New Year's Day, as another day for you to be great. Just like every day when you open your eyes. And until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love. See you next year. Peace.